Alrighty, how are you doing PMP Beta? This is Rich here and welcome to the very first annual viewer video of the week award board 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 board. Okay, that sounds s stupid. I'll have to do like hardcore video editing and make my voice like more awesome. Anywho, um let's go ahead and get this started. Basically, yeah, I'm just going to sit here and announce, you know, so and so's battle for the past seven battles and y'all sit here and y'all say ooh I like his the best or yeah and what I'll do is I'll leave an annotation on the on the screen so that you can click it and then if you want to go back and rewatch the full battle to make like a decision or something go for it so um, first up for Sunday's upload we had battle number 178 which featured the Movin Mill Tank versus uh, Mattapan Sold and it was a fifth gen underused match scale but I really just want constant damage and I do still do have that Galvancha in the waiting with a Specs Thunder so that's nothing he really can stay in on. So I go for the Toxic on his switch and he goes into an Electros and that will wither this thing down which is a great help because these things are, I think are rather bulky. I'm not going to say they're completely frail but I know they have no weaknesses so I'm just going to go into my Reg Seal because he can sponge any hit. This is my special wall and I, the only really things I've seen of these are special attackers. Alrighty, and that was Sunday's upload by the Movin' Mill Tank. Uh, the next day, Monday obviously, we had battle number 179 versus, uh, which featured Shibi or She 2222B versus uh, Sherlock's 31, which was also a fifth gen underused match. So at this point, uh, just gonna go for the Giga Drain here, and we both at this point lost our leads. So uh, you know we're basically at neutral. We we're at the you know kind of the same we both lost our leads we're not losing too much here and they actually we're both ground type so that's pretty decent it's pretty cool and uh i'm gonna go out to my summer solution here my rotom fan form and just to absorb really whatever the fuck this thing wants to do i know any move wargo uh has can really just screw over my celebi so i'm definitely gonna go out to my summer solution and that was shibi's monday upload now for the next day tuesday um, we brought you the Rising Silver versus IR Major Burns, and that was a fifth gen roulette battle. Enough! I can't, I can't take that anymore. And I'm gonna go into my Gallade, Big Hope Gallade, and <laughs> I'm gonna take that Power Whip like a boss because Gallade is just awesome in every way possible. And yeah, I level 32 HP, and that's Tansom the limit 17 HP. <laughs> and his Ferrothorn is slowly wearing down. I'm gonna go for the close combat for the final blow. Haha. Uh -huh. And. Alright, and that was the Rising Silver's upload for Tuesday. And Wednesday, uh, we brought you battle number 181, uh, featuring its Kusi versus the Moving Mill Tank in a 5th gen underused match. Because I do have a wish, and even if he hits me and crits me, it won't take me out, and I'll get most of my HP back from the wish, so. That's really nice because I'm back at full HP and I'm in a really good spot right now. Now I'm actually gonna predict this, <laughs> predict this switch into Blastoise and go for the Thunderbolt. So that was an awesome play. But uh, like I said before, it wouldn't have taken it out as you see there because Blastoise is a bulky Pokemon, and he was at full HP. So. Oh, all right, and that was Kusi's Wednesday upload. And for Thursday, we brought you uh, Battle Number 182, featuring Gold Rules 2 versus Kote 1616 PV, and that was a fourth gen adherence match. I have left his Pidgeot and Alakazam and Infernape, very frail Pokemon. Um, I really can't do anything to this scissor. Hopefully, I can take a bullet punch, but my, I, I'm not going to live that. Oh, Pidgeot lives the bullet punch, goes for the Brave Bird. This was outstanding. Uh, what a badass. I'm going to change the name from LOL to OMG win. Um, because that was so sick. I did not expect to get that. Now I'm set up, I think, as far as... And that was Thursday's upload by Gold Rules 2. And for Friday, we brought you Battle 183, which featured Pro Poker Player versus SoFly for a White Guy. A 5th gen OU versus UU match. Um, plus the toxic damage is going to build up. So he just goes for the Surf, and uh, now I'm predicting him to go for the Wish, predicting either another Sacred Sword or my Switch, but I'm going to switch into my Azelf predicting um, that Wish, as he actually just goes for another Surf, which is really unfortunate, because it means he will be able to 2 it KO me. Um, not before I get a hit off, but it would have been nice if he went for the Wish. Um, here I was very close to... 
All right, and that was Pro Poke Players Friday upload. And finally, for Saturday, we brought you Super Mario Poke versus Wild Chase for a fifth gen underused match. Busted. And now I can set up completely with the um, Leaf Blade. That's Grass Gem Boosted. Unfortunately, he fodders out his Nido King, so you know it won't really. Mat like I won't take out that Milotic, which would have been awesome, but. I can't really do much about that. And he sends this guy in because that's the bulkiest guy. And I have the Dragon Claw. And it goes down, 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 down. <clears throat> Alrighty, guys. That wraps up this week's viewer video of the week award. So everyone just uh, leave a comment down below saying who you think did the best job in your opinion. And I will tally up these votes. And I will announce the winner. Um... I don't know how I'll announce it. I'll probably like either post it on the. I'll figure that out. I'll figure out how to announce the person later. Um, so yeah, thanks everyone for watching, and we will see you next week for next week's award. Later, guys.